Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. I tell you, anyone who knows me knows that I grew up in the country, and you know they say you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. And that's been true in my life. When I was growing up, Placerville was a tiny town in the foothills of the Sierras. There wasn't a big four-lane freeway going through the town. There was a country road that led up, a two-lane highway that made its way through the foothills on its way to Lake Tahoe. Now, as you pass through Placerville, you entered into that wonderful rolling foothill country of the Sierras. This is a country where wildflowers are abundant, where the rural heritage is very much in evidence. You see barns and country homes and rural living at its finest. That's why I'm excited about my brand new painting called Country Living. I think all of us long for a quieter pace in life. Country Living celebrates life lived at a slower pace a life in harmony with nature, a life of country living. As you look at this painting, you notice that it is dominated by the sky. There is nothing more dramatic than a country sunset. My studies of the sky have led me to realize that the drama of a painting really resides in the sky itself. It sets the tone for the painting, creates the color atmosphere. In country living, I especially wanted to create the sense of a sky that was turbulent and yet very serene. The clouds were arching up as though in celebration of the end of a perfect day. In the distance, we see rolling hills. Now this scene could be a lot of places. Some people have said it reminds them of the Texas Hill Country. I've spent a lot of time in the Texas Hill Country. In fact, I visited Fredericksburg and wandered around the hills looking for subject matter. In fact, I have a lot of family in Texas and I always feel that a part of me still resides in that great Lone Star State. Other people have said this painting reminds them of the Blue Ridge Mountains. You know, I've kicked around the Blue Ridge Parkway and visited a lot of the settings that have made that area famous. This painting also reminds me of the wildflower regions of more northern areas, the Adirondacks, the Cascades, even the foothills of the Rockies. No matter where you relate this painting to, there's no doubt Country living is a big part of the North American heritage. Many of the details in this painting are taken from my own experience growing up. The battered pickup truck you see in the distance was based on the 1953 Ford F-100 pickup that my mom drove as our family car for many years. Our house actually had an old dilapidated barn next to it. And across the field, there was a vintage California barn that in my teenage years got converted into a painting studio for a well-known artist named Glenn Wessels. He moved to the town of Placerville and settled along the little country lane where our house was located. That barn became the place where I learned the craft of painting from a master. To this day, I have a great passion for barns. I rarely get the chance to put them in my painting, but country living just wouldn't be complete without a barn. In the foreground, we see a stock pond. These are ponds that ranchers set up to water their stock. Oftentimes, it's little more than a gathering place for rainwater. And yet, here we see the sky and the lights of the little cabin reflected in the pond in the middle distance. A makeshift bridge goes across the little stream that feeds the pond. And in the distance, we can see the windmill. Windmills are a wonderful part of the countryside. You see them all over America. Not only are they practical, in the sense that they harness the wind to pump water from a well usually, but they also become a scenic part of the landscape. Oftentimes when you're driving on a country road, you see a windmill in the distance. This is a good indicator that you're in ranching country. The cabin that we see to the left of the painting is a classic North American farmhouse. These structures are sturdy and simple. Many of them are still standing if you search the countryside. Country living also includes wildlife. And of course, I have a white-tailed deer and ring-neck pheasant making their appearance in the composition. These wildlife elements also are a breathtaking reminder to just slow down a little and enjoy the quietude of nature. Of course, to me, the most exciting part of the composition is the wildflowers. Now, I love wildflowers. And if you've ever been in a region where the wildflowers are abundant, you know how breathtaking it can be to stumble upon a field just decked out with all that color. Now in this painting I used, of course, the blue bonnets. These flowers are famous in Texas. The rolling hill country of Texas has blue bonnets galore. But this isn't just true in Texas. Of course, in California we have lupin, and there's other variety of lupin that are all over North America. No matter where you look, you're bound to spot some color if you time it just right. 
In addition to the lupin, I threw in some wild poppies. These are a beautiful flower, and of course in California they are a protected flower because the California wild poppy is our state flower. In addition, you'll see some brown-eyed Susans popping out, and of course some purple sage and a few other varieties as well. Now many of you know that I'm known for my use of light in my paintings. As the lights grow dimmer, the sky seems to get even more radiant, especially if you look out towards the horizon. Take a look at how that light in the distance really seems to glow even more. The foreground patches of light get a little more golden, and the shimmering lights on the pond and the glow of the windows of the cabin seem to have that much more radiance. Then, as you bring the lights back up, it's as though dawn is breaking. Perhaps sunrise is coming across the land. All the colors come to life as the light gets brighter. Of course, in all my paintings, I include soaring birds. In this painting, we have a hawk flying high overhead. Distant birds flock along the horizon. And of course, to the right of the composition, one more bird is making his way back to his nest in a tree that's just now coming into flower. In the foreground, you see some granite rocks outcropping. These are covered with lichen, a beautiful touch for me because I grew up in an area where lichen-covered rocks were something you saw almost every day. In the center of the composition is a majestic oak tree. These are wonderful trees to paint because the bark is just so dramatic, especially when it is lit from the side by afternoon light. See if you can spot some forms in the clouds that are of interest. My kids love to do this when they see a sky dotted with clouds. In this painting, I had fun painting very dynamic shapes. Maybe your own children will spot a surprise or two in the sky. You know, every painting I do has as its goal creating a place of peace and comfort in the home. People tell me they can step into one of my compositions and feel as though they were there, as though they could wander the little pathways and feel the sunlight on their back. My prayer is that my new painting, Country Living, will be for you a place of peace, of comfort, and a reminder every day that there is so much beauty in this world if you just take time to see it. This is Thomas Kincaid reminding each and every one to share the light. God bless.